The Plurivac S1100-08LF Sahara chest drainage system is a sterile, non-pyrogenic unit intended for single patient use only. To begin setup, activate the swivel floor stand at the bottom of the unit and lock it into place. Remove and discard the cap on the patient tube, which is present just for aseptic technique. Attach the patient long tube to the thoracic catheter. Note when this connection is made, the patient is protected from atmospheric air entry and can expel air through the one-way valve located in the Plurivac unit. Drainage, if any, will migrate into the collection chamber. A sterile, pre-filled, pre-measured syringe is enclosed to fill the air leak meter. Remove the syringe. Remove the cap from the tip of the syringe. Insert the exposed tip into the injection site on top of the unit. Depress the plunger to insert entire contents. Once fluid is inserted, the water will turn blue. Next, connect the unit to the suction source. If suction is prescribed, simply connect the suction tubing to the suction port on the Plurivac unit. Attach the other end of the suction tubing to the wall source. In case of gravity drainage, omit this step. Be sure the suction port is uncovered. No fluid is required in the suction column. The unit is preset at minus 20 centimeters of water. If the prescription is for minus 10, 15, 30, or 40, rotate the red suction dial until the red stripe in the dial aligns with the prescribed level and clicks into place. Increase source suction until the orange float appears in the indicator window. The position of the suction dial determines the approximate amount of suction imposed, regardless of the amount of suction source, as long as the orange float appears in the indicator window. It is important to turn the regulator up until the orange float appears. If you do not see the float, continue to increase source suction until the float is in the window. If suction is prescribed, the float will appear and stay in the window as prescribed. If no suction is needed, gravity, then there will be no float in the window. If suction is on, the float will appear and stay in the window as described. With suction on, the word yes will appear in the negative pressure indicator window. If no suction is used, also called gravity drainage, there will be no orange float in the window. The indicator may intermittently indicate negative pressure in the window with patient respiration. The negative pressure indicator does not confirm drainage to patency. Routinely check patency. If the air leak meter is filled, intermittent bubbling would indicate the presence of an air leak. No bubbling would indicate the lack of a patient air leak. Note, fluid may oscillate with breathing dynamics. If the clinician observes constant bubbling for an extended time period after connection to the suction source, troubleshoot to ensure there is no air leak at the connector or product site or along the patient tube. Patient drainage may cascade into the collection chamber, starting with the first column within the chamber. Check periodically to ensure adequate suction is being applied to the unit and that the orange float valve is in the suction indicator window. If the suction setting is decreased from a higher level to a lower level, patient negativity may remain at higher level unless negativity is reduced. Use the high negativity release valve to reduce pressure to desired level. The operation of the manual high negativity release valve is described in the safety valve section. The one-way valve provides the one-way seal which allows air to escape from the patient while retarding the reverse flow of air. Water is not required to establish the seal. The patient air leak meter is quantified from low, 1, to high, 7. The higher the numbered column through which air bubbles, the greater the degree of air leak. The clinician may keep track of the progress of the air leak in the patient chart or by markings on the unit, depending on hospital protocol. The positive pressure valve opens automatically with increase in positive pressure, preventing pressure accumulation and a potential pneumothorax. It is next to the suction port and air will escape if there is an occlusion in the suction tubing. Do not obstruct the positive pressure relief valve. The automatic high negativity release valve is located in the rear center of the unit and will automatically open at approximately minus 50 centimeters of water, 
providing protection against excessive negative pressure buildup. The manual filtered high negativity relief valve is provided to manually vent excessive negative pressure. Note the fluid level in the small arm of the seal. Depress the high negativity valve to vent negative pressure. Filtered air will enter unit and the fluid level in the seal will drop. Release the button when desired level of negativity is attained. Caution, if suction is not operative or on gravity drainage, depressing high negativity release valve can reduce negative pressure to zero or atmosphere with a resulting possibility of a pneumothorax. The collection chamber has a capacity of 2,000 cc's. The collection chamber is calibrated in 2 milliliter increments up to 500 milliliters and in 10 cc increments over 500 cc's. Fluids overflow from one compartment to the next. Prepare the second unit according to setup instructions and place it next to the original Pluravac unit. Clamp the patient tube on the original Pluravac unit. Separate the red and blue connectors on the second Pluravac unit. Separate the red and blue connectors on the original Pluravac unit, keeping the original tubing from the red connector to the patient. Attach the blue connector of the second Pluravac unit to the red connector on the original patient tube. Open the clamp on the original patient tube. After noting the fluid level, discard the original Pluravac unit per hospital-approved aseptic guidelines. Rotate the red and blue connector to where connector is in the down or inverted position. Use a standard lure lock syringe for withdrawing samples. No needle is required. Option one is to utilize a dual collection chamber model which has two separate patient tubes and two separate collection chambers. With this device, drainage can be measured from each chamber. To identify the source of a patient air leak, tubes are pinched separately to determine from which catheter placement the patient air leak may exist. If the intermittent bubbling stops in that tube when pinched and resumes when released, that would indicate the air leak still persists there. To remove one catheter, it is imperative that the corresponding patient tube be removed. The catheter must be clamped to ensure closed system. PE-105 is an accessory plug that may be inserted into the blue connector of the removed patient tube to maintain a closed system. When wiring two thoracic catheters, remove the protective cap and straight connector on Pluravac tube and discard the cap. Insert the 3 8 inch sterile Y connector into the Pluravac patient tube. Obtain and insert two sterile small tubes to the Y connector. Note, Pluravac tubing may be used if no separate tubes are available. Attach a connector to each short tubing section. Attach two short tubing sections to the two thoracic catheters. Note, if two thoracic catheters are used, both must be attached to a Pluravac unit. Prepare two units per instructions. Obtain two short sections of one quarter inch tubing. Obtain a quarter inch Y connector and insert it into the two short suction tube lengths. Attach one section to each of the suction ports. Attach the quarter inch standard suction tubing to the Y connector. Increase wall suction source until the float is in each of the Pluravac indicator windows. Turn up suction source until this is achieved. Note, placing the Y connectors close to the Pluravac unit and decreasing standard suction tubing length will decrease dead space in the tubing and assist in elevating both floats. If both units are attached correctly and only one float elevates, the second unit without float is imposing negative pressure but not the setting on the dial. Increase source suction. When milking or stripping chest tubes, it is important to follow hospital policy. If chest tube stripping is performed, milk the tube in short sections. Avoid flattening of tube in long sections, which can increase patient negative pressure. Note, 
Stripping of the patient tube must be done with the patient tubing clamp open. Stripping with the clamps closed can result in the buildup of excessive positive pressure. Good technique is to keep unit upright and below catheter level. Do not tilt the unit to a parallel position. Use the handle on top of the unit to carry it. Do not use the two hangers on the side of unit to ambulate the patient. With suction on, continuous bubbling in the seal may indicate the presence of a disconnect. Check the connection of the catheter to the pleurivac unit. If bubbling persists, use a pleurivac clamp or hospital-provided clamp to clamp the patient tube from the catheter to the unit to see if the leak stops. If continuous bubbling persists, change the pleurivac unit as directed by the IFU. The fluid level in the water seal should cascade with the breathing cycle. If your observation does not detect movement, check to ensure tubing patency and patient condition. The Pleurivac Sahara unit has built-in patient protection with the enclosed one-way valve to prevent atmospheric air entry when tipped over in any position, with or without fluid in the air leak meter, and with or without suction on. Only dry suction, one-way valve technology as found in the Pleurivac Sahara system offers that protection. Note, fluid can cascade among the four sections of the collection chamber. To restore unit upright, note patient and fluid levels and either replace the unit or continue use in accordance with hospital policy. The auto transfusion bag, S100-08LF, can be utilized to perform reinfusion when required. First, obtain and unwrap the bag. Attach the auto transfusion bag to the side of the unit. Note there are two brackets on the side of Sahara. Align hooks on the auto transfusion bag with the brackets on the Pleurivac Sahara unit. Force fit the two hooks snugly into the Sahara unit until you hear a snap in place noise. Close the two clamps on top of the bag. Close the clamp on the patient tubing and drain blood from the tubing back into the Pleurivac unit. Disconnect the red and blue connectors in the patient tube. Remove the red protective cover from the collection tube on the bag and connect it to the red connector on the patient chest drainage tubing. Remove the blue protective cap from the bag tubing and insert the bag connector into blue connector on the Pleurivac tubing. Open all clamps and secure all connections. The autotransfusion system is now operational. Note, there are two scales on the bag, one for gravity drainage and one for suction calibrated at minus 20 centimeters of water. Note, the bag will cascade inward with suction on and stay extended without suction. That is why there are two scales. Read the appropriate scale. To remove the autotransfusion bag, Use the high negativity release valve to reduce excessive pressure to the prescribed level if applicable. Close all clamps of the patient tube and auto transfusion bag. Disconnect the red and blue connectors. Securely attach the blue and red connectors in the patient tube. Open the patient clamp. The Pleurivac unit is now operational. Attach the red and blue connectors on top of the auto transfusion bag. Remove the bag from the Sahara by pushing in on the top hook on the bag until it is free from the bracket. Pull up the bag from the Sahara unit. To prepare for auto transfusion, slide the wire frame off the bag and discard the frame. The Pleurivac S1102-08LF system is an adult or pediatric dual-chamber Pleurivac Sahara model. It sets up and operates identically to the S1100-08LF, except it has two separate collection chambers, each 1,000 cc's, and two patient tubes with autotransfusion connectors and needleless sampling port. This product enables the clinician to quantify drainage from each of the two catheter placements. Each catheter must be attached to a patient tube. The Pleurivac S1150-08LF system is an adult or pediatric continuous reinfusion product. 
See details in the appropriate section of this production. The Plurivac S1130-08LF system is an infant Sahara that sets up and operates identically to the S1100-08LF, except it has a smaller collection chamber with 200 cc capacity. The Plurivac S1200-08LF system is a pre-mated combination of the S1100-08LF units and S100-08LF auto transfusion bag. This product eliminates the need to attach the two separate products for cases where the auto transfusion bag is determined to be required up front.